Everybody in uh, at Onboard University, very much uh, welcome to uh, today's uh, keynote uh, speech. Um, we've got uh, uh, lots of stuff uh, going on uh, today. Um, but uh, before that, I would like to uh, welcome everybody that, um, uh, to this event. It's, uh, it's all about uh, SharePoint uh, today. Um, so what uh, we'll do today is uh, we'll have lots of presentations related to SharePoint and uh, and other, other uh, Microsoft related uh, technology. Um, I believe you've got presentations about uh, client side development. This is one of my uh, my, my favorites. Um, uh, all the new uh, new SharePoint uh, web parts that uh, that come out of that. Um, and we've got some uh, process automa automation with uh, Nintex. We've got Power Apps and some web services. Uh, so that uh, sounds like a uh, full uh, full day of uh, lots of uh, good stuff. Um, then, if I just quickly introduce myself, um, um, if you have any questions today or whatever, uh, please do use the uh, the, the, the Twitter uh, um, address that I've uh, I've got over here. Uh, so it's my first name and my surname. And you can also use the company that I work for, uh, Triad. Uh, this is uh, Triad uh, Group PLC. Um, and um, you find that um, um, I'm also the author of uh, of SharePaints, uh, which uh, can be found um, on uh, https Um That already tells the whole, uh, part of the story. Um, I'm, I'm based in the UK, uh, while this whole uh, presentation is, uh, is shown in the US. So that's one of those um, um, uh, new things that we're trying to, uh, to do today. Uh, where uh, we can remotely uh, present uh, well anything across uh, anywhere in the world, uh, and that's pretty much uh, what Microsoft Teams is all about: working together all over the world. Um, so, if we look at uh, other things that I've done in the in the in the past number of years, I've got about uh, ten years worth of SharePoint experience and Office 365, and uh, touched every now and then uh, quite a lot of other uh, Microsoft technology as well. And uh, since the beginning of this month, I've, uh, I've become an MVP in uh, Office Servers and Services, uh, which is Office 365 and um, and, uh, and uh, yeah. Um, if you do have any questions today, please include the hashtag AU SharePoint Showcase uh, as well. Um, then we can pick up the questions and we can um, uh, possibly answer them uh, live on air, so that makes it all nice and dynamic. So feel free to uh, to tweet us uh, today. Um, then, like I already mentioned, um, we are based in the UK um, in an, uh, in a little uh, uh, city called Milton Keynes, um, and you can see Auburn at the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, um, uh, and that's where you are. And like what we're doing at the moment, we just share a screen just like us without any uh, delay uh, whatsoever. Um, so that's, and even I think the, the, the voice should be um, uh, direct. I had a, had a chat earlier with a couple of guys in Melbourne and we didn't have any delay on it at all. So it's very good uh, performance. Um, then if you look at uh, Teams, Microsoft Teams, uh, that's what, uh, what, uh, what I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. Um, You've got uh, lots of different teams, uh, and it can be sports teams, like I've got over here. I've, I've took a photo of the uh, Auburn uh, uh, basketball team and the uh, English rugby team. And I also took, uh, took, took a look at the um, Wikipedia uh, team uh, definition. What do they think about what, what a team is? So as you can see, and as I'm, I'm sure you've, uh, you've read uh, uh, now, a team is a, a group of people uh, that work together. Um, and they, in general, do a bunch of tasks. And like I said, they work together on those tasks. Um, sometimes some people are there, sometimes people are not there. And um, you have lots and lots of different teams. You've got your, uh, your football team there, but also our office over here, for example, that's also a team. It doesn't also have to be about uh, sports. And in this case, I took this photo when it was lunchtime, so you can even see that sometimes half of the team is not there. Uh, and it's still a team. Um, and then one of the more important teams, of course, for today is um, is uh, over here. We've got the team that uh, that organised your um, your event uh, today, the SharePoint Showcase uh, case t case team. Um, and as you can see, uh, they uh, they always enjoy themselves. And uh, I would very much like to thank them for uh, for organising this event and uh, giving us the opportunity to present uh, more Microsoft Teams today and all the other things. Um, so I'm hoping that, uh, that you're going to enjoy uh, today and make sure that you say thank you to the, uh, to the six people here on the photo. 
then uh, we've got another team over here today, and that's the team in the UK. Um, we've got uh, myself over here and George. George is um, um, recording the session today, and he's um, he's every now and then helping me out with the demos. Like I said, um, Microsoft Teams is all about working together, so I can't do it on my own. So I asked George if he could uh, help me as well. Um, and um, you can see over here, there's a little photo um, uh, to prove that we're in the, in the UK. Uh, we've got the big Ben um, in, in between us over there. Um, and it's uh, one of the uh, uh, big uh, tourist attractions in, uh, in London, uh, not too far away from, uh, from where we're based. Then, what's happened uh, with Microsoft technology in the recent um, number of years? Um, we've, uh, it, it, it all started with uh, uh, collaboration in SharePoint 2001, where you had uh, team sites and well, it was pretty much just a place where you could store your documents. And then through the time, in, uh, in, you find in, uh, in 2003, things have improved a little bit. And, but really, I think from, from SharePoint 2007, that's where everything really took off. That's where team sites suddenly become, became something that everybody could do something with. As you can see, it's got starting to have things like calendars, tasks, and all sorts of other stuff uh, that uh, team sites and SharePoint had in it. Um, and you found that at this point, lots of people did uh, 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 custom development to add additional features to it. But still, the base team site was already something you could work with. Then uh, Microsoft, uh, after that, uh, decided to, um, to give it just a nice new little uh, fresh look. And everybody was really impressed with this in, uh, in uh, uh, 2010 and had lots of documents and calendars again. As you can see, there isn't much difference in the functionality, at least not from a user perspective. Under the hood, of course, there is an awful lot that has changed in, in SharePoint 2010. Um, and through the uh, time, uh, SharePoint kept, uh, kept changing. And you find that in 2013, that's where the base of what we now call SharePoint Online uh, arrived. If you compare this uh, screenshot over here of uh, SharePoint 2013 and um, SharePoint Online, it's almost the same, isn't it? It's just that little top banner at the top, uh, Office 365 SharePoint uh, bit that is different. Um, and things are still changing a lot. Um, and you find that now the new stuff, and that's where all the presentation today is all about, is Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is where your new intranet um, uh, could live. Um, do you still need an intranet? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Because an awful lot of functionality you can do within, uh, you can already give a place within Microsoft Teams. You'll find that uh, all, all of the bits that you would currently stick in, in your intranet, quite often you can just put it all into Teams, all into one nice application. And that's what today's uh, uh, presentation is all about. Um, so we've got this uh, Microsoft Teams. Um, it's still got some SharePoint stuff behind it as well. You find that this is a new Microsoft Teams site. If I quickly get my mouse over over here, yep, you can find over here. It's still got their parts. So everybody who's familiar with, uh, with SharePoint, uh, well, 2007, 2010, 2013, maybe even 2016, it's still got their parts. And, it's, uh, and you can find multiple web parts on a page over here. You get a uh, left-hand navigation where document, uh, documents get stored, notebooks get stored, your pages could, could exist. But the fundamental bit, it's still SharePoint. Yes, there are lots of new bits in it, conversations. Remember, we use Yammer quite often. Uh, it's another application that gets a little bit moved towards that single team application. Everybody within a single application and, and all, all the bits of functionality all within one single application. And that's what, what makes uh, life a lot easier uh, one day. You don't need things like Outlook anymore. You just have your chats within uh, Microsoft Teams, as we'll, we will see uh, in, in a short while. Um, so, Let's have a look. How did it all work? In the olden days, that's 2016, for this last year, we had lots and lots of applications. Skype for Business, SharePoint, Outlook, um, you had OneDrive, OneNote, and lots more applications. As you can see, lots of uh, applications. I took the screenshot out of, uh, out of uh, Microsoft Teams. Um, you can see lots of different applications that all move into uh, one, big application, one big app. Um, Although the app is not even that big, but it's, it's got lots of bits of functionality and you can just slot things in that you want and that you need. Um, and what, do, what does it look like uh, nowadays in 2017? It's just one Microsoft Teams, that's it. Um, it's just Microsoft Teams and all these applications, they're all moving towards 
one single application. And that's exactly what we want. It makes life a lot easier. But in Microsoft Teams, we've got lots of different areas. So we've got uh, activities where you can all find out what, uh, what you, you've been, uh, been up to, what your team has been up to, and, and all sorts of things like that. And you can search for, for all these uh, kind, of, uh, kind of activities as well. Then you can have a chat. That's what we find in, um, in, um, in, uh, in, in Skype for Business. But you can also have the chat now in Teams. So you don't really need Skype for Business anymore. And that's exactly what Microsoft has, has decided as well. They're moving uh, Skype for Business into Microsoft Teams. And it becomes one um, uh, application that replaces the, replaces the other. Of course, you still got your on-premises Skype for Business, and it will probably still uh, go on for a, for a while. And Microsoft Teams and, and Skype for Business in, in Office 365, yeah, it will probably still be there for a little while, but not for that long anymore, probably, because Microsoft has already made the announcements. Then, what have you got? You've got Teams uh, sites. You've got um, all this, the the organizational stuff without, within uh, Teams. Then we've got the meetings, like you've got an Outlook where you can manage all your meetings. You're, you create new meetings within Microsoft Teams, and they all get nicely listed uh, quite cleanly uh, next to each other. And then we've got the files. Well, that's your SharePoint, isn't it? So all your files that you used to store within SharePoint, you still store them in SharePoint, but they just get presented within Microsoft Teams. Uh, so it's a single application showing you all. And then the final uh, area within Microsoft Teams, it, for now at least, is assignments. And that is something that's educational specific. Um, you will um, um, we'll have a look later on about uh, what the differences are between the educational version of, of Microsoft Teams and the uh, what I would call the business version of Microsoft Teams. Um, there are, um, are, are multiple areas over there. So let's have a look at the real application. Looking at all the slides uh, today, well, that's not really what we're here for. So let's have a look. I'll have a look if I can get my Teams up over there. Yep, I've already logged in uh, with Microsoft Teams over here. And uh, all the stuff I've talked about uh, so far is all over here in the left-hand side. Um, and it's called the banner. Um, it took me a while to find out what it was called. But uh, last week, I found somewhere a blog post where they were calling about all the different options in the banner. And you find that things change over there. Um, and they change quite rapidly. So some of my screenshots today, they might even already be out of date, um, simply because things have been changed over the last couple of days. And it's very difficult to keep up with the door. It's almost a full day job to keep up with it. So let's have a quick look. What do we find over here? In, you've got in activities. You, over here, you can find uh, your feed, as in what's, ha what's been happening. You can find the activities of a team. You can find my activities. If I select up here my activities, I can see all the things that I've been doing, uh, well, an hour ago. I mean, did, uh, did, did some other stuff with, with one of my colleagues. And you can find lots of little chats, uh, documents you've uploaded, whatever else. Um, then you've got your chat area, um, where you can have conversations. You can have conversations with lots of different people. You can also have conversations with bots, which is quite often quite nice. Um, uh, uh, they can just help you with little tasks that you, you want to do. Um, you can integrate with all sorts of applications over there. Uh, I've, I've uploaded a couple more, enabled a couple of of, uh, of, uh, of of chats over here. You can see, for example, if I uh, one of my colleagues over here, uh, I think he's over here under the test user account, and I go, "Hi, George," and you can see over here. It's a, it's a little chat. It, it builds up. It adds to it, and he can uh, respond and go. You can always see over here. See my chat user there is typing, and this is how you can very easily, very quickly, you can have uh, conversations with each other. And um, so it's it's similar to Skype for Business, but it's, again, it's all in within one application. Then what you can have here is you've got your teams. So you've got a whole bunch of teams over here. Um, You've got uh, teams that, uh, in this case, that are educational uh, specific. As we're looking at the uh, Auburn University um, uh, uh, tenant, um, and you find that we have created a class. Um, uh, so this could be, for example, biology, or it could be in English, or whatever other uh, classes you could possibly have. There's also a staff members uh, uh, group, so where staff members can work together on whatever they want. Um, it's all about uh, collaboration on documents, on uh, discussions, or whatever else. Um, and you can find, you'll even find that creating a new team, it's just a few clicks on a button. You go create, 
you select the team that you want over here, you know, the type of team that you want. Uh, so you could create a new class over here. You simply click on it. You get a little form uh, given to you. Wh what does the class? Cl what should the cl class be called? Um, you call it something. You hit hit next, and the team gets created for you. For this demo, I've already pre-created all of the uh, uh, all of the different uh, uh, <coughs> that uh, would be interested to today. Yeah. So at the moment, I will look at this uh, this this class demo um, over here. Where you can see, I've got in the um, uh, got my my team over here, and underneath there, it lists what they call uh, channels. Um, a team can have multiple channels. So, for example, if I look at um, um, at, at, at 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 our kind of business, we're in uh, we're a uh, and try it as an um, an, an, an consultancy where we run lots of projects. So you could, have, for example, have a team called uh, uh, development, and then have a channel for every single project. Or something like that. Um, the way you want to organize that, you're completely free to do so. Um, and there's lots of different options over here. And over here, as this is an educational uh, uh, team, you can see within files, you can find lots of different um, uh, file options. So this feels a little bit like SharePoint, but it's not SharePoint. It's a different way of presenting the same kind of data. Um, and we'll have a look in a, in, in, in a short while about you can even add documents from other uh, sources. And you can uh, discuss these documents. You can upload new documents. You can, can create new documents. Uh, and there's lots of, lots of different, uh, different options here. Um, then uh, I'll have a look at the, um, the educational bits in a, in, a, in a short while. And we'll go through that uh, later on. This is what I want to do first for the, for the first bit of demo. If we now go, and go back through my presentation, uh, I'll just quickly show you what uh, we've walked through, uh, the different feeds, options for, for activities, um, lots of different chats. Um, you can even build organizational charts uh, within uh, the, uh, the um, uh, Microsoft Teams. We have within a certain team, you've got lots of people, and it can just build up the, uh, the organizational charts for you. Um, and it's very easy to use. I can have a look at it later on if I can still demo it as well. Um, you can see all the activities of other people. Um, then we've got our team sites, like I mentioned. Uh, we've got uh, uh, conversations in there, which you can, uh, uh, can nicely keep track of. Um, so this is a very big difference between uh, if you use <coughs> app or if you use uh, Microsoft Teams. All the conversations are nicely organized on a team by team basis, and you can easily find them back again. And that's, uh, that helps an awful lot, I find. Um, then if we look at uh, the education for business and business, I think we should first have a quick look at what happens within the educational sector. So when I was uh, uh, younger, I used to do uh, homework and I had uh, uh, lots of pens. Um, so I wrote my, uh, my homework and I didn't uh, actually, I didn't have one of these pens. I had more of the, um, uh, of, uh, of, of the pen that is like this. Oh, sorry. Uh, like this, I mean. Uh, <laughs> Because, well, I used to probably chew my pens and whatever. And that's how I used to do my homework. I had my pen, paper, I need, need to hand it in. Um, and that was, well, quite a lot of, uh, lot of work. And then you find that at some point, I got one of these PCs, really modern, um, modern uh, PCs. Um, I think we're probably talking about the end of the 80s, 90s. Um, and I had something called Word Perfect. And the most important feature of this was the, um, can you notice over here, the please wait. Um, it's uh, the please wait uh, was always it was take forever to, uh, to to save your documents and uh, and documents would regularly get uh, corrupted. Um, I found now that I use Microsoft Teams, things are a lot quicker, a lot faster. Um, then we'll have editing of documents as well in Microsoft Teams. So where in SharePoint in the past you had to open up your document, um, you could preview your document. Um, you can now within Microsoft Teams, you can also just edit your documents and um, uh, editing, but not just editing, but also comment on documents. And these conversations, they're being kept within uh, your, your, your team and within your channel. And you can very quickly find all the discussions about all the documents within, um, within your Microsoft Teams and all separated uh, nicely um, by, by project or whatever uh, you, uh, you want. And you can have your conversations there. So that's all, uh, all really good. Um, then let's have a quick look at a quick other demo. Um, basically, what I want to show you is uh, uh, co-authoring in um, in um, uh, in uh, Office or in uh, in Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to find a document over here. I'm in my channel. 
in my class channel and I'm finding a document over here. I want to discuss this document with my colleague George, who's sitting in, in the same room as I am over here today. Um, and what I will do is I will make it very easy for him to find this document. I'm going to make this into a tab. You can see over here, the document is over there. Good demo. And have you noticed? I haven't clicked at all anymore. And a document is straight away open. It's, it's showing me what the document looks like. Um, I now want to start editing this document. And I could edit it in Word. I could edit it in Word online, but I want to edit this in Teams. What it means is that I'm not going to edit this in Teams. And my colleague George will do exactly the same in, on, in his environment. And he'll be logged in as a different user. And I'm going to uh, update this document. I am updating this document. Really nice. I'm editing the document. And we'll now need to uh, wait for uh, for George to uh, to get to the document. He will get to the document, and he'll he'll try and edit the, the same document within Microsoft Teams as well. Just waiting. I'm just having a quick look at his screen, and we should see soon. Yep, he has got the document open at the moment. Have you noticed over here? The alert is over here as well, and my test uh, user over here appears. He's typing over there. I'm typing in this document. This is great and we're both working on a document at the same time this is how you can work at the same time on one document imagine you've got a project team of 10 people and they're all typing in the same document same time uh, probably you want to type on different sections of the document which means you can get a document out a lot quicker um, so for example in our kind of business uh, we're working uh, in uh, the triad is in, in uh, SharePoint consultancy um, where we have a customer I need to have, have three four people uh, updating the same proposal for, for that one customer and that customer needs to have the document within two or three hours time we can all write documents at the same time we can comment even on it so if I look over here there's a little comments uh, uh, section over here and we can now start a chat around this document over here so I'm going to say uh, hi George uh, what do you think about this document and I'm waiting for for his response okay I can see that he's typing so it's nice I know straight away he's available he's working on things oh it's almost there but the logo has to go smaller yeah I think it's a good idea so again I think the triad logo is over here I'm updating it and I'm asking him the question is this okay and again, I'll wait for his response. And if he says, yeah, that's good, then I'm all happy. Yeah, perfect now, good. We can go and we, I can send this off to the customer. I can share this document with the customer. Um, it's even nice nowadays. Uh, uh, you can share it with anybody just like that um, uh, within, the, um, uh, within, the, uh, within the document itself. Um, so if I... Now, for example, and I haven't say, sent, said, uh, clicked on any kind of save button at all. If I now go to a different area of the Microsoft Teams, the document is still saved. And I don't need to worry about saving my documents anymore. It will just work. It will just put the documents there. OK, so have we seen so far? We've done the, the co-authoring over there. Um, so if I go to my presentation over here, you can see the web or update. You can see the conversations happening around it. Um, then let's say we have a look at a couple of the educational bits that I've, uh, I've been talking about earlier. Uh, we've got assignments and we've got uh, notebooks. Uh, so if I have a look again at assignments and notebooks. So if I first go over here, I can find over here in, in the uh, banner, the assignments uh, section, I can find all the assignments across all the different teams. But of course, there is not a single team that I'm looking that I'm, uh, I'm working with. I'm, I'm, uh, I might be working with lots of different teams because I'm a teacher, and if I'm a teacher, I might have lots of different uh, uh, classes. So let's say, for example, I teach English and I teach biology. Then I need to have multiple classes, and I want to have assignments from multiple classes, and I want to see them in one single overview. That's where you go over here. Um, notice over here, there is not a create assignment over here. But if you go into the team, and I now go to my uh, class team over here, there is another assignment uh, tab over here. And if I go over there, there's a new assignment over here. So I'm going to create a new assignment. Um, so I'm going to do um, open demo assignment. And I want that to be handed in somewhere on the 10th of October and say it's at 12 o'clock. And it can add some instructions over here. 
You could um, attach reference materials if you wanted to. You could even ask students or tell students what you want them to, uh, to hand in. Um, and that's easily done in this screen over here. You can even allow late uh, turn in um, if that's what you want to do, but I'm not going to allow that. Um, you can add points over here. So at the moment, once I get to the review stage, um, I get uh, uh, I can I can give uh, either a hundred points or anything less uh, than hundred points, and I can now assign this this task to, uh, to all of my students. So if I click the the assign button over here, I will find that somewhere over here will be my my uh, my uh, my demo assignment, and I can see over here that nobody has turned it in yet. So I'm going to wait for um, uh, for the uh, for the assignment to be turned in. And at some point, that will be turned in. Uh, before earlier, I basically created another assignment um, just for demo purposes. Um, uh, it might, um, OK, uh, George is just trying to complete the assignment. So I can wait for that uh, assignment to be uh, completed. Um, and then we'll have a look. He's just adding, uh, adding a document at the moment. And we're going to wait for that uh, to arrive. So if I go back to my assignment in a minute, he's just handing it in at the moment. And OK, let me go to the assignments because I don't want to go through all my teams, I guess. So I'm going to these uh, overall assignments and I'm going to have a quick look over here. I can now see one person out of five uh, part of my five students has handed this uh, this uh, assignment in. I can click on my assignment and I can review it. I can now see in a nice clean overview that my test user up here, which is, uh, George, um, he's um, he's um, uh, handed in his work. So I can view the document over here. It's a very important assignment, but I don't think it's good enough. So I'm going to say to him, uh, need some more information here. And I'm going to give him uh, just uh, 10 points for now, because, well, it's just good enough, is it? Therefore, I'm getting, getting uh, clicking on uh, close. George could now decide, OK, I'm going to update uh, that assignment. And he will update the assignment. And you can see over here, for example, there's a comment over here, needs some more information here. And then um, that's what he could, uh, could could now use. So he's going to add another assignment. He's, um, I could now uh, open, um, open the uh, assignment documents again. And I could then decide, OK, I'm now happy with it. Uh, once I've opened it, I could now, for example, say, OK, I'm now going to give him 90 points. Of course, everything is a bit more positive. Um, once I've reviewed everyone's work, I can then hit uh, post, and then the whole assignment is completed. That's done. That's the end of the assignment. Um, then, what the other bits within uh, uh, teams that are specific to uh, the education uh, sector? If I look at uh, the team over here, um, we've got uh, notebooks, class notebooks. Um, you don't ha just have class notebooks. Uh, staff members, for example, will have a uh, uh, staff member notebook, and all the other educational um, uh, uh, teams will have different kinds of notebooks. But I'm going to look at the class notebook because that's a, 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 a special kind of uh, notebook. I'll show you why. I'll quickly open up another browser over here with um, as the as an uh, as, as a student. I'm over here. I'm logged in as as, as a student. And I'm going to open the same class book. I'm going to open that the same, same class book over here. And I'm going to have a look at all the different sections. Remember, I'm logged in over here as a student, as my test user. I can see uh, so, some uh, sections over here which are related to the whole class. But I can also see in a, a section over here called test user. Now, when I switch over to my um, to my um, uh, to the screen for um, um, for the for the teacher, I go back to my class book. I look at the sections, and the teacher can see lots more uh, sections. This is where security comes in. Remember, uh, no, uh, OneNote. This is all based on OneNote, but it's a bit of a special version of OneNote where you've got security uh, uh, permissions set on a uh, notebook. So as a teacher, I can see uh, uh, certain bits of the, uh, of the of the test user's um, um, uh, notebook. So if I compare this with uh, the teacher's version, uh, uh, the student's version, there. 
they've got the same kind of uh, sections inside their own little notebook. So it's sections within sections. Um, and it makes, uh, makes, uh, um, makes it a very nice way to organize uh, all, all the notes within, uh, within a class. Okay, I'll go back to the uh, uh, presentation I've got. Um, here we've got the um, assignments. Like I showed you, you can create new assignments. You can, um, um, you can have, uh, have the assignment overview. Um, then the other thing you can do, which is not specific to, um, to the educational sector, is that you can add uh, cloud storage to your, um, uh, to your uh, um, uh, Microsoft uh, Teams. I'll open up the one for the teacher over here. So when I here, I can go to files. And I, as you can see over here, I've got uh, uh, documents from OneDrive that uh, I, I, I can have over here as well. Um, so I click on OneDrive, and then over here it will list all the documents that come from OneDrive. But there are more options available. It's not everybody is just Microsoft. Uh, so Dropbox is available as well. Box is available. Sharefile is available, and Google Drive. Um, so it's four other uh, cloud storage um, uh, suppliers that um, that can be used within Microsoft Teams, and they would just appear in a similar kind of way as OneDrive does over here. Um, then what else have we got? Um, lots of uh, uh, integration uh, options. Um, it's I'll show you over here if I want to add some other uh, another uh, few uh, tabs. Um, they can appear over here, for example. If I want to add a website, for example, um, one of those typical things that I would like to do is um, I would like to add my uh, add my blog over here. So I'm going to add uh, SharePaints, which is my uh, my blog, which I mentioned at the beginning uh, um, of this presentation. Um, and I'm going to type the URL over here. Hopefully, I don't do any typos. There we go. Oh, there we go. And I'll hit save. What will happen now is that my SharePaint blog will now appear over here. And you can see SharePaint is all over here with my latest uh, blogs all available. And it's directly from within Teams. So every single time somebody now goes to that uh, team, they could quickly go and uh, uh, um, have a look at, at that website if that was useful. So for example, you could include over there uh, search engine uh, like Bing, for example, or Google, uh, whichever one you prefer. And you can just add it over there to your tabs. But there are lots of other applications you can, could add. You could add uh, Visual Studio, for example. Uh, one of the typical things we do is we have backlogs of um, during our projects. Those backlogs can appear within a Microsoft Team team, um, and um, or a, a video streaming using Microsoft Stream uh, or Power Apps. You can add lots and lots of different things. Um, even Microsoft Forms is, uh, is should be available now. Uh, can't see it over here, but uh, uh, that's the integration. Of Microsoft Forms is available too, um, and there are lots and lots of applications. Um, and there's even a let's have a quick look if I can enable that over here. A developer preview. I will need to switch to, and you'll find in a minute because it's just it's now just re-logging in. And um, this will now uh, add the um, uh, apps options uh, for me, uh, where you can add custom apps. Over here, you can see there's a get apps over here. And there are lots of other applications. Uh, you could integrate <laughs> with uh, oh, Aha, it's one of those typical ones, or Ace, or any other application. A lot of suppliers, and this is a list that grows very, very fast. Um, um, and you could include your GitHub, uh, for example, or your Facebook pages. Um, but you can also add, for example, uh, bots um, that you would want to uh, add it, or some connectors. Uh, there's lots of or different options, and this is something which will grow over time um, quite a lot. Um, once you've then installed one of those uh, apps, you can see that they become available over here. So one of those uh, ones that um, um, uh, I always quite like is um, over here, you can type questions, and it will um, uh, add uh, em emojis uh, into it. So I can go uh, like, uh, oh, uh, I like this presentation, and the bot will now go away, and it will translate that, uh, that, that thing. It will should now soon come back with uh, there's an I for information, and there is a like with a thumb up. Um, all those kind of things uh, you could do. 
So a bot can do anything. It also uh, sort out all your um, system updates. You asked it to do a system update and it does it for you. So all you now need to do is you need to know how to talk to your bot and it can do it for you. So that all helps and makes uh, makes life a lot, uh, lot easier. I'm going to close that again and we're going back to uh, Microsoft Teams. Um, Okay, let's have a quick look. So we've looked at uh, the cloud storage. We've looked at lots of integration um, options. We've looked at uh, 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 bots. Um, there are um, lots of bots uh, available, like I said. This is one of the screenshots that is, is slightly out of date. So Microsoft uh, has updated the interface uh, uh, quite a lot. Um, but it's not just about all the integration options that makes Microsoft uh, Teams such a great application. The other thing which is really good is um, that it's available on your Win all your Windows devices, all your Mac devices, all your iOS uh, 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 devices, Android, Windows Phone, and it all comes as an app, and it all is, is available, and it even works within your browser. Um, like you've seen today, most of the demo uh, I've done through uh, through my browser, but I could have done it through uh, through the uh, Windows app. Then, of course, Microsoft Teams has got some uh, limitations. One of those limitations that I found is that recording, for example, is not possible yet. And external sharing, well, that got resolved uh, last week. Um, and this is one of those really important things for the educational sector, I think, where you find that um, uh, lots of um, uh, lots of universities will work with uh, students that come from other, other universities, and they're just guests. You don't really want to have to create uh, user accounts for everybody. Um, if they already have a user account somewhere else, well, with, uh, with guest uh, access, you can now give people access to all your Microsoft Teams um, if you configure uh, those, uh, those, those uh, Teams to, to, uh, to have um, um, uh, guest access. Okay, um, then let's have a look. What else have we got? Um, I have found uh, quite, uh, quite uh, uh, interesting is uh, Microsoft Teams has got uh, so something called user voice. As with all the other Microsoft team, um, Microsoft products, Microsoft Teams also has got a mic, uh, user voice, and you can find all the things where other people have already requested something. As you can see over here on the screenshot, external access has been a problem for quite a while, and almost 6,000 people over there voted for, can we please have this Microsoft? Well, Microsoft implemented it. And that's quite uh, quite a uh, big step forward, of course, where in the past, every half a year, we used to get a uh, release, and um, uh, that release would then uh, have something in it. Would put, some of it would probably work, some of it probably wouldn't. We then reported it to Microsoft, and we waited for another half year before we finally got an update. At the moment, Microsoft goes through cycles of almost uh, uh, every other two weeks, uh, a new release will arrive. And it happens very often that um, with Microsoft Teams that I suddenly see, hey, there's a new feature over there, and that's great. It's it's a lot better than it uh, than um, than, uh, than the service used to be with those half yearly updates. Um, so if you want to know what's on its way, simply look at that URL, MicrosoftTeams.UserVoice.com, and you will then find uh, all the new uh, features that uh, that are on their way. Microsoft is working on. Or, is, um, um, or you just add something to it if you can't find your, uh, your problem. Um, next to all the stuff that um, I've shown you today, uh, there are also options to do custom development. Uh, so those applications that we, uh, we've been talking about earlier, you can also develop new applications. So if you hire developers, and for example, uh, Triad could help you uh, with that, uh, something like that, um, we could de develop uh, custom apps for you where in the past we would do this probably within a SharePoint environment. Initially, probably was just a SharePoint web part. Then when the app model came out, we used to uh, develop uh, SharePoint uh, apps. Then a little bit later, um, you would uh, uh, have those apps living outside SharePoint, still be accessible from SharePoint. Um, and now you can create uh, apps within uh, Microsoft Teams. And if you're a supplier of, of apps, you can even sell them over there. Um, so that even makes it uh, um, make, makes it uh, um, uh, useful for uh, for uh, uh, well, Microsoft Teams suppliers, I guess. I was almost going to say SharePoint suppliers, but um, then what can you do with all those apps? Well, you could create bots 
just like that. Uh, you can create it using the, the bot, uh, bot framework. Then uh, we've got, uh, uh, within those tabs, you can create custom uh, 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 applications. You can create uh, Compose uh, uh, extensions. You can uh, create connectors. So there's lots of options where you could, uh, could uh, integrate your existing applications, uh, which you're not ready to replace yet. Uh, and you can integrate them within uh, Microsoft Teams. So again, you can create uh, a single application for people to go to. It feels a bit like an intranet. Um, if you look at the apps bar, uh, up to last week, the apps bar was still over there. Like you noticed earlier, I'll quickly bring it up uh, just to uh, help a little bit. Uh, over here, it's now being replaced with the dot, 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 and the get apps, where you can add the apps in the get apps, in the dot, dot, dot menu, the ellipsis. Uh, that's where you, can, um, um, where you can access your apps from. Um, so they, uh, Microsoft has separated those two. Um, and you can add whatever applications you want, like I've got over here, Microsoft Planner or SharePoint. Um, then let's have a quick look. What have we uh, have I talked about uh, so far? Uh, Microsoft Teams. Um, it's got lots of activities, it's got lots of chats, it's got uh, meetings, files, and assignments. It's, uh, there's lots of stuff around for, um, um, for all your uh, collaboration that you used to do within Microsoft Teams, and which you would now do within, um, <coughs> uh, within Microsoft Teams. Um, so you can have your custom apps, you can create them more tabs, you can have channels you can, uh, within uh, all your teams. Uh, you've got different uh, security levels for students and for teachers. Um, so it, it's already uh, uh, quite an advanced product, even though it's still quite new. Um, so it's definitely something that um, I would uh, um, support and, um, and be happy to, uh, to help you with. Um, uh, then I, uh, I, uh, I hope that you've uh, enjoyed uh, the, the presentation um, uh, today. And yeah, if you do have any, uh, any questions or you want any help implementing uh, uh, Microsoft Teams uh, in the future, then uh, feel free to, um, uh, to, to contact, uh, contact me and I'll be uh, happy to help. Great job, Peter. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. Okay. You're welcome.